Good afternoon, guys. Blessings from the UK. Um, Saturday, Saturday afternoon, the 4th of February. Um, I'm just going to get into it, guys. Um, I don't mind anybody dropping by the channel. Um, please like, subscribe if you like. Um, much appreciated for getting the message out here. Um, miscarriages are just as, there's too many of them, there's too many of them, um, within our broken system, um, yeah, broken system, broken structure in the system, yeah, um, the photograph guys, the photograph of the artist, Bob Kelly, Kelly on in the background. Photograph of the artist O Kelly that was um, sent to me by an unknown source. Um, nobody I know in any way. Um, of the artist O Kelly back in February 2021. Prior, prior to. Um, An established blogger, Tasha K, on YouTube. She's speaking about a correctional officer. A correctional officer. Just sometimes we have to repeat ourselves. A correctional officer. Senior. Senior. High up. Um, in a position. The artist O Kelly. Exclusive interview. Natasha Simona on YouTube, Rick Party, exclusive director. As we know, but people may not know who start to come across this channel, um, who ran that interview with the artist, um, the international acclaimed artist, or Kelly. Now, um, what this Irish doesn't really get into on this channel is any type of judgment or opinion. Um, no, no point, no type of judgment or opinion on this channel. Loss of liberty only. If that, in these types of situations, right? So that's being my stance. Any of the subs on the channel know that. Yeah. Um, and my arrival. Well, I think it's fair to say, guys, sometimes people, before they come out on a channel, I'll speak for myself. Um, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy one, especially what's taking place in America is starting to affect the rest of the world. All right, and I'm just really considering and wondering here whether those right up at the top appointed into positions really give a damn. Yeah, really, really give a damn because this Irish has never took to any YouTube channel. Um, has always remained private, worked in the background with people at a disadvantage, mental health, addiction, you know, um, criminal justice. Um, that goes across the board. And um, what prompted me to come out? Well, it's not so much what prompted me to come out in this video, but it's the information that I received along the way. Okay. Um, now the, the, the case is, um, the artist of Kelly's case is um, it's massive, um, high profile case, and um, then, then he's got his legal representatives, um, and that's Mrs. Bonjean and her team, I believe a high profile attorney, who's quite good. Um, ethics of the law 
um, I just go through this myself, you know, just to, um, I take up the law, miscarriages of justice, she doesn't only have missed that Kelly on her caseload, I've listened to one or two of her other cases. Now what I can see, just from a bit of media, um, I'd like to turn that telly down and I can't, I do have a home to go to, but I'm always on my travels. Um, it's her care, her genuine care. Now, when I watch and listen, um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing something, something different as well. You know, I won't elaborate on that, but, um, I have respect. I have a lot of respect for people to do that, who do that type of work. It's so much needed. I'm sure Mrs. Bonjean is on her own over there in America. Um, what I'd love, I guess, in the future, possibly some integrated thinking across the board, as they say in the Irish EU Parliament, because there's a lot of international prisoners abroad in America, and thank God our country have um, case managers in America um, that um, deal with Irish prisoners abroad, and you know, for example, um, deportation and you know quite a lot of work and um, it's not necessarily what you may see on a website but it's, it's the successful work that they do behind the scenes so really what I'm saying is this first and foremost just for people are listening and who have international prisoners or family members I mean and they live abroad or do you live in the United States of America? They probably went over, got a visa to work, and for whatever reason, and being charged, commit crime, whether that's high profile or not, because the, this organization, particularly that I'm speaking about, I won't mention in this channel, I'll just try and bring it all together at some point. Um, <coughs> Get in touch with Fame Center. I had the same problem. They're the UK's Varicose Fame Specialist with clinics. Whether they're charged in the United States of America whether um, they do a sentence within the United States of America's prison, that's whether it's federal prison or a county court prison. Um, it's our home office in our country that step in. Yeah, they step in for the prison, the families. Yeah. As soon as they make the first port of call of the prison, the governor, whether it's a federal prison or not, okay, the prison automatically knows by that call, okay, to reach the prisoner, and then that's private. It's private. It's a private matter. Um, it's, you know, that's private, yeah, between our home office and the prisoner, high profile or not, okay, um, in, in what the prisoner wants, in what the prisoner wants from, from, you know, their sentence, from what they want, basically, they have rights. What I'm saying is they have international, they have international rights, Irish citizen rights, under the EU law. Yeah? So, someone did say to me way back in time, the arrest of old Kelly, this channel, the artist of old Kelly, for example, why you probably didn't see some information going on um, is because it, it, I was informed of, you know, true communication that the United States of America citizens at least the black community probably would not understand um, where I'd be coming from. Yeah? 
and so I taught because of the hysteria and um, everything else going on over there um, which I have um, you know deep compassion for now we've got the same over here look at guys there's no point in looking in at this channel and thinking it's a bed of roses I have to pace myself coming out and that's because of my own personal um, situation as well and what was thrown at me last March alright I say me um, the family alright nothing to do with my niece so um, that's why you see me just now and again coming out on the channel um, I have never given anybody a bum stare on this channel anybody that's listened um, never now it's it's um you know you can get information wrong you can pick up information i can or get information wrong but it's very important that even if you do you can humble yourself admit that and just come out and pull it look i do apologize i've got that wrong <coughs> the situation with the artist store kelly internationally is it's a multitude you know you've got a world view you've got a world view uh, <coughs> just to say I personally believe that the media involvement in this situation was probably the worst he's got a legal Mrs. Bongean did say um, this is just the beginning the New York trial and that appeal is just the beginning. I have every faith in it. I have every faith in it. So where I'm coming from on this channel, which I've tried to express, um, and you know, I've had a lot of blocks put up with me, um, scratching my head. <laughs> trying to reach the United States of America his legal representatives Hi. and as much as they've got evidence I have evidence all right um, in disclosing now I would say me personally but because I am a practitioner and I understand about the confidentiality guidelines and you know um, I've tried guys, I have unbelievably tried, right? Now there's a lot of unmanageability going on behind the scenes with legal representatives um, during that process, okay? Um, but just not on this video for a minute. Um, but what I would say person speaking is a disclosure of sensitive information. It could be highly sensitive information. I sit here today and I don't know if our Kelly, the artist, has received that information. Yeah? I don't know. You can only um, assume or take somebody's word for it, the legal representative's word for it, all right, that they would do, that and how I would do my job thoroughly, they would, it's a risk, you're taking a risk to trust, you're taking a risk to trust, <coughs> now, I was told they would be, they would be having a conversation with Mr. Kelly. Now, this is going back. <coughs> Excuse me, 2021. I have a bit of a cough. Am I? Joining that confidential information. Now, I don't know if that took place. But I've trusted my spirit from day one. 
And what I'm saying is this. I believe that this information, which I would call sensitive information, alright? Now, so just bear in mind, I'm a supporter over here. Yeah, in the United Kingdom, standing up for justice, injustices, to be corrected. So that's Mr. Kelly's legal representation. And Mr. Kelly trusts his legal representation. Right? Um, and despite my efforts to contact, to make contact, and not just me, not just me, under this circumstance of the artist or Kelly, internationally, right? Not just me, because that's evidence as well. Um, I believe in this particular situation that it takes somebody skilled in a specific area. Yeah, to um, to bring it to the attention. Yeah, bring it to the attention of Mr. Kelly, his legal representative. I believe. Now, Mrs. Bonjean, I, I don't know. She could take that and say, "Oh well, I, 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 look, when it comes to legal." We haven't, guys. I'm just the same as anybody else. It doesn't matter. It does matter. But what I'm saying is, it's like I haven't even read a transcript yet. I haven't because it's a, it, there's too much information and it's like I'm dyslexic as well. You might see the struggle, but, but I do have that struggle. Okay. Um, but anyway. So I'm here. And despite what you don't see on this channel, I have been very um, proactive in the background. All right. And Mr. Kelly had that support, is what I'm saying to you, with the right people. The right people that know about these types of situations. And I just don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Because, you see, this Irish likes to do things, right? So she doesn't take the bull by the horns. Yeah? You know, head first. Yeah? I have no right to do that. I don't have a right to do that. You know? But I've tried. I've tried to do everything right. So there's nobody on this channel putting out faulty information. Alright, what I'm saying is, there's confidential information. Internationally, internationally, that raises concerns, big concerns, of why the United States of America... Yeah, no, I'm the messenger. Why the United States of America's government did not come out, did not come out to the public and disclose. Now, this case has gone on for four years. Four years. What? Not for the one to try. Not for the one to try. Yeah? And if you're living across the United Kingdom for today, travelling back and forward to your own country, speaking to people in the background, yeah? And trying, yeah? And what I'm saying is, if you've done all of that, you've done it all, after four years, how would you feel? How would you feel, is what I'm saying to you. How would you feel? So, to the subs on the channel, while I'm putting this out here, it's not a channel, it's not a, um, it's not a channel of um, entertainment. It's not a channel of anything. I'm not a blogger. I'm not a blogger. Yeah? 
you know so it's not a channel to just come out and spit out information neither because there's somebody's life on the line and despite anyone else feeling any other way about it yeah well then this is the work that myself and other people do when it comes to somebody's life on the line yeah so I know that you can understand that to the subs on the channel so until I know better yeah but, um, what I want to do is revisit and go back to these people yeah for voice for advice sound advice and yeah I am putting myself out here but when you're coming from a truthful place you have nothing to fear and nothing to hide do you know what I mean? You have nothing to fear or nothing to hide. Now, so this Irish here isn't about, well, it's, she's not about anything. She's not about anything. And I just want people, you know, who can look above and beyond the breadth and scope of situations and a human being in these types of situations um, to, to, I guess, try and understand. But at the end of the day, it's down to those people appointed in these positions, in government, official positions, professional positions, to be honest. You know? So, something's separate. It is separate. The photograph of the artist or Kelly who took it upon themselves to send me this photograph of the artist back in 2021. So right, and that goes through Interpol, please God. I did try and print off, print it off. I went to a couple of printers. It doesn't really print well. It, it just doesn't print well. Now I'm not including this photograph sent to me by an unknown resource to anything other. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I said I'd come out and I'd come out and speak about it and I'd better hurry up. Um, it's 22 minutes on this. I'm going to try and describe a bit of the photograph. The photograph will not be going up on this channel, given it's a high profile case. Um, but it's just to let you guys know and anybody else out there who has received I don't want to take that the only one that's received this all right or information of a correctional officer whether it's a black name they take it be a black name um, and everything else um, but I have found the name of that correctional officer black or not this Irish person should not know information about a correctional officer via the MCC building in Chicago yeah living right across the other side of the world in, in, in around the time of this photograph received way before an established blogger um, shared it shared it that the tampering of evidence tampering of evidence of confidential information being disclosed i.e. Mr. Kelly, the artist of Kelly his, his um, private confidential information um, emails, phone logs 153 town, times downloaded from this unknown source of a correctional officer that his, him, himself and his team has not known to this day who it is, yeah, but conveniently let go out of the MCC building, okay, to take early retirement. No charges, no further investigations, an FBI agent to go in and can confirm that there was a legal activity. Of course there was a legal activity because this is a legal activity and so is me known as a correctional officer, a legal activity, whether it's a black name or not. It's the fact that it was disclosed to me um, a 
correctional officer. Now, how would I know that? How would I know that? I don't know that. It, I, I didn't see it out there. If it's out there prior to the established bugger speaking about it, well then, hey, I'm willing and I'm open to receive that. Yeah? So, um, that's that. That's that. Um, it's, it's a bit, not a bit. No, we'll erase that now. It's not a bit. It's mighty iffy from where I'm sitting. Right? Okay? So the photograph, guys. I want to recall back on one of my videos to say that it could have been a screenshot. I apologise for that. I really do. Because really and truly, until the photograph can be investigated, looked into by a crime division. Okay? They're the people, really, that are going to know about criminal. Yeah, um, international criminal enterprises. Yeah, they're the ones that are going to know the crime squad. Hey, look at that. So I'm looking at this photograph and I had to revisit it a couple of times, put it down, think about things, and I just probably said what was off my head. I can't say it's a little bit, I guess, naive of me to be saying it's a screenshot. Um, and it might need to be a screenshot, so I apologise for that. But what I have found about the photograph since looking at it is the photograph was edited and adjusted, okay, which makes the artist look quite, um, yeah, quite squashed up. But his face, like, hold on a minute, hold on a sec, just give us a minute, right up. So, so, you can only see across there, okay, and a bit of what's in the background, very, very close to it. very close to it. couldn't get any more closer, unless somebody was tipping a camera right to their nose, okay, um, so I don't know what the boundary is with this artist, I don't know what his boundary is in terms of if he's outside and there's you know, the paparazzi or whatever clicking, how far or how close a person will get to the artist is what I'm saying to you. Because I know today they have cameras, they can do anything, they can zoom in, zoom out. Just looks like they're right up next to the person. Alright? So just quickly guys, here's what I want to say. The right side of the photograph. So this is the right side of the photograph. What looks like corridor it's white it's all white and it's like a corridor okay see so just remember you're looking at a photograph that doesn't give you an awful lot of detail of the background because it's being adjusted it's being adjusted you know tampered with wherever it's come from right so I'd say that I'd say that I'd say that for today so we've got a photograph, or we've got, sorry, a white background that looks like a white corridor. It's a white corridor. And there's a fluorescent light, one fluorescent light in the ceiling. All right. Um, and that looks like it's sitting over his shoulder here. Okay. But it's kind of in the distance, but it's in the ceiling. So we've got a white corridor and we've got one fluorescent light in the ceiling. Yeah, just one. Now, just over his shoulder here, yeah, is I would say a door, a doorway, an arch that you can go into. It might be an office. It might be an office, um, an entry into somewhere, but when you've the first impression of the photograph, when you first see it, it kind of looks like the artist or Kelly is, is um, I'm not an expert guys, so just don't take this as gospel, you know what I mean, it needs to be investigated or at least looked at into a special area like that. So just over his shoulder, just so that's his shoulder and you can see just there 
a bit slightly bit of a doorway in the distance yeah but when I first looked at I thought it was somebody else sitting beside him or sitting next to him and he squashed up and it made me think is there some kind of a screen in front of him or something you know I couldn't I couldn't make head or tail of it really having a look at the photograph again and revisiting it the left hand side of Mr. Kelly. Um, now, I looked at it and as I said, it doesn't give off very, very much. In fact, the right side gives off more information than the left side of the photograph. And it's got, um, I thought it was like some kind of a wall, maybe. Maybe as he's standing up and against the wall, right? Um, now, the people. The persons that sent me this, right, I will take a risk in saying they adjusted that photograph, yeah, I would say, because it would have given a bit more detail, alright? So the left hand side of the photograph, I thought it might be a pole or leaning against the wall and you can just kind of see the left side of it a little bit. But then when I look at it, when I look at the photograph, now, don't quote me on this, guys, please. It looks like, perhaps, just the corners of a lift, an elevator in the back. So he's got his ear here, and it's just to the side. Okay. And then just a bit like that. We really need someone and that's that is well why I've come to the conclusion is because what I thought was a wall and maybe he, he's leaning against it or something and it's just a very close up photograph. But this black thing that looks like may possibly be an elevator maybe all right is if if you look you know okay so it looks like it's behind him do you understand so it's not here right at the shoulder if he was leaning against him but look it's just about as much information that i can give you people about this now this is criminal it's called international international um Ill Ill illegal criminal international behavior that's what it is so it's it's international criminal enterprise that's what it is really okay that i personally became a target of and god knows how many other people and perhaps there's a press conference and i would just say personally okay for this type of activity that's been going on a very long time yeah, I would say just prior to Mr. Kelly's arrest, yeah, in 2019. But however, we'll get to the bottom of the people because we are a little bit like investigators out here when not just Mr. Kelly's um, supporters and fans are just a bit, you know, and, you know, it's, it's because of this artist, you know. Now, there's other people interested in this case, sitting behind the scenes, taking notes, that probably never followed the artist in their life. So I would say, from a world view, yeah, people have their eye on this case, for whatever reason, yeah, and take an interest in the case. Take an interest in the case. So that's what I believe. That's what I've communicated with people on a one-to-one, -one, yeah. And um, so, I'm not an investigating journalist, I'm not anything like that. My job, my job, as I said already, is to do with psychological therapies, yeah? And um, the, the photograph has been tampered with because there's a yellow line. There is a yellow marker, like a yellow marker. I don't even consider it as That's, that's, um... Well, it's, it's um, just 
the front, the front of the photograph on the right hand side and it stops about an inch or two above his ear. So somebody has obviously tampered with it. So I'm going to put that there guys, right? Um, you know, that's it for now really. Um, I will say this, but I can't, like I said, I have never been in the United States of America. Um, it's hard to geographically, you know, for me personally, I haven't been over there. I don't know the buildings, but they look like inside. I thought, is it a courtroom? Maybe it's not a courtroom, a court corridor, I don't know. I have no idea. But I wondered whether Mr. Kelly was walking into a lift. And there was a camera or a hidden camera or something but i'm not throwing out suspicion there or anything i'm coming out to share this because i received this internationally i live in the uk i'm an irish citizen i'm an irish citizen and this irish citizen shouldn't have received this so what i'm saying is this um you know why did i where did it come from who sent it why? Why? An information about a correctional officer prior, prior to an established bug up coming at home. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I hope you have understood. Bit sickening looking in. What's going on over there? The killing. You know, look, guys. I was so angry. I was so angry. Um, I'll talk about that another day okay lovely lovelies and um, mr kelly in your prayers and um, just remember there's no opinion there's no judgment there's no nothing from this channel all right this channel i would say is more about the human rights the rights the rights of people being arrested and not giving due processes and making a big deal about it all over the world you know what i mean and it's stark and obvious the evidence out there it stinks all right it, it does stink it does stink and um you know have a lovely day all the best bye bye